Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Tuesday. It's July 30th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. Let's start off by taking a look at the daily chart. Uh, another big down day today. We didn't. I don't think we broke the low. If we did, it didn't. It was only momentarily. The low, previous low, was 54.3250. 54.32 so we got within two ticks of testing the low and then we bounced off that so uh, that kind of that's somewhat of the line in the sand at this moment so um, we'll see if we get any follow through buying or I'm sorry th follow through selling tomorrow we rallied off the lows but still a pretty big down day overall we opened way up here and closed uh, way back down here again higher than this last close over here but uh, we may push on down tomorrow so we're back in overbought territory not as over uh, I'm sorry oversold territory not as oversold as we were previously because this is now turned down some so there's still room to the downside my guess is we're going to attempt to test these this trend line here we'll see uh, that's my guess, but uh, hadn't happened yet, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, we could just continue to work sideways here for that matter. But anyway, let's uh, flip over to our 2000 tick chart, take a look at that, and go through our trades. And here it is. You can see um, we had this early on really strong trend down. It's like a spike in channel. We were in, looked like we were in a real tight channel at first, but this expanded into a much bigger channel. When it when it just keeps going lower like that, you got to look for a new trend channel. So uh, I believe this is correct here. I think we had an overshoot here basically um, because it fits better the way I've drawn it here. And we don't we never get a break in a reversal. We just had an overshoot, uh, a couple more legs down to a new low, and then we rallied out of there. Had a break of that and a new high. It looked like we were going to try to make another leg up here. And then once we kind of reach this 5,400 level of pricing, um, the bottom just fell out of it again. Or I guess that's 5,485. I'm sorry, not 5,400. 5,485, 5,490 area. Um, and then we just, it just uh, I guess... All the sell seems like every time we reach a certain high point now the selling comes back in and today it was around 54.90 54.95 it looks like so anyway uh, there's the bigger picture um, let's zoom in here we'll go through the trades there were two news items today they were both around at nine o'clock so I didn't mark that area out it didn't really affect much uh, there's a second entry in here that uh, came it that second entry came it was just it wasn't even a minute into um it wasn't even a minute into the news item so i think you just had to skip it, it uh there's no break of this green channel yet so i think you just had to skip that and just wait um there wasn't much going on until about 9.30 though, so you had to be patient today. Because, I mean, even though we're going higher here, there's just not many setups. And, you know, you don't want to just enter to be entering, and uh, as soon as you do, you'll get burned. So you just have to sit patiently and wait. And uh, honestly, that's really what separates a average trader from a good trader is really discipline and patience. Can you be disciplined enough to sit and do nothing for long periods of time? And, uh, of course, that takes patience. So you got to be patient and wait on that setup to come. But anyway, 7 o'clock came over in here as we're um, bottoming out and trying to go higher right in here. Um, I don't see anything. There's, there is a higher low right here. I didn't mark it. Uh, it's not a perfect signal bar. It's close to closing in its upper one third. It's one you might argue for a green. The other reason I didn't like it because it didn't break above on that bar. You really would have entered above this bar. Uh, and it is right off the key entry point as somewhat of a higher low. And it does make a double low right there. So really your entry would be here. But this is your signal bar. And I always put the, the 
uh, arrow below the signal bar so we'll leave it there so maybe you enter there along uh, it runs up here and we're just kind of chopping sideways again but you get a hidden second entry long here and maybe you tested that three times um, so it's in a you got a triple bottom there three bar matching low on my chart so uh, yeah you could enter there as well nice signal bar right off the key right off the EMA right off that support line and that's a pretty good move up that's your first break of that trend that spike and channel up as well so you expect it to make a new high here um, and then we're just chopping along again there's another one here that's tempting but you just don't have any room it ends up working but you just don't know that and you just you're just better off to sit tight and that just keeps pushing higher until all of a sudden boom the bottom falls out of it no chance to get short there then we're working sideways I didn't draw it but it's really just a there's just range here really it, it's really kind of a continuation of this range after a failed breakout and that took us took you into the news we already talked about this trade uh, but of course you end up with a trend down break new low and it bounces now I will say I didn't mark this but I will say it's it's the close from yesterday and you know prices are going to fill that gap and they'll usually rally off of that and you can call that a double bottom you got some stem here that went a little lower but it looks like a double bottom to me so it's another possibility again it's aggressive you're trying to pick a bottom so you got to be careful with those I mean you'd be surprised how many people send me an email talking about how their trading turned and it happened when they quit trying to pick tops and bottoms and they started trading with the trend and all of a sudden they start having success so uh, there's a lot to be said for that you need to be very skilled and uh, you need to be able to do this on simulator pick these bottoms for a while before you start trying to do it live so that's all I'm gonna say about that if you go out there and try to trade them you're probably gonna get burned you won't see me mark them very much in a strong trend but at this point this is looking like this might be a range day so going along there I mean you might even argue there's a triple test there's a lot of space in between that first one and this next one so I don't really like calling that a triple test but it's close and this you can see the move and because it's the it's filling the gap there's probably people that just have orders waiting there being that far away from the EMA there's a good chance you're gonna get a scalp out of that but the problem here is timing you might be off it might make one more leg down and so your timing may be off and you end up with a loser so just be real careful with those um, all you get here is a first entry I'd wait on the lower high and it doesn't come and then you're chopping sideways you get a failed breakout but notice how it closes back inside I like going short there big bearish bar so I like that entry that turns out to be a pretty good move down um, pulls back here just a first entry there's technically a second entry right here when it goes past those matching lows I prefer to see that break higher it's another one um, if you have room there maybe you you call that green and you can see there's there's enough room there you got a tick to spare so it's another one maybe you take that trade would have broke higher and then had a matching low I'd say go short there um, but then you actually get a second entry short here notice the new low first entry second entry so a nice signal bar I like that one uh, there's another second entry here but that's just too congested and you know they're all right into the support you see how they all bounce and you just can't go short there it ends up going lower first entry second entry but that signal bar is no good then you get another leg up now this is not a second entry short but clearly you see a leg up a two-legged correction and then another leg up so on a bigger picture there's a second entry right at the key entry point with a nice signal bar so I like that trade 
Um, and then a few minutes later, you get a lower high. So if you didn't enter here, enter here. And if you want to be real brave, add on. And then you get a reversal, which is just a continuation pattern of this bigger trend line. So I like it too. Now I'm not as crazy about it. There's actually a hidden second entry short there as well. Uh, so there's multiple reasons to like that one. It takes it a minute, but it takes on off. And then you just don't get another chance to, it's too late really to, I mean, even though you, you can tell this is a strong trend and you get that signal bar off the key entry point, you got to go short at the low of the day. Don't, don't enter there. Don't do that. It would have worked, but many times it, it won't. So just, just skip that. And then we bottom out here. We get this trend line working back. Um, so you've got a confirmed trend going the other direction now. Um, notice you get a pullback first entry, pullback second entry. That's a second. And this breaks lower, fails, and turns up. That's a second entry long when it goes past. You could enter that on the guffing bar or wait for that to close. There's still room to get out there. So you could trade that one anyway, either way. Uh, this has moved too far. And then you get another move back. Um, it's just a first entry, though. Maybe there's a hidden second entry there, but um, that signal bar is not good enough for me to like that. And you did have a close outside with two legs up, too, so you need to be real careful there. Uh, it comes back up, and then you end up getting a triple test, the second entry short right off that resistance line right there. And... This one kind of takes off. It, it doesn't just rock it off, but it, it clearly starts trending lower again. And again, there's just, uh, I mean, uh, this is starting to look like a real strong trend, but at this point, you've already got two legs down. Not much room there. I just sit tight. And then, and then next thing you know, you got a break and a move to a new low, but you just don't get a setup here. Um, uh, this is just a first entry. Uh, this is a first first entry here. Comes back. And here, you actually get a close outside and a new high all in one. But really what you have is a triple test here. It does make a higher, the price is traded higher, but notice how everything closed inside there. And this trend line does have a close outside and a new high. And you do get a two-bar match and high. So just the way that looks, I like that. There's, so I like that entry. A lower high here, but no setup. Um, you can't really take a failure here uh, going sideways. Uh, it's, not, it's not what you're looking for there. And of course, you bounce down here. Now, that is a high or a low, but that looks really sideways and congested. Um, it's, you know, it's one you might say, okay, I, I want to be aggressive. If I like that one for a possibility. It ends up working, but I just not a great setup. And then this one, of course, is not a good, the signal bar is no good. But you do get a trend up, a close outside, new high, and you get kind of a, we already had that set up somewhere else. But you get the close out, actually right here, it's just kind of like a repeat pattern with the two bar matching high, big bearish bar, just go short right there. I marked it green um, because you do get some closes, you do get a close outside and an open outside, but every but it still closes way back inside. I this is real close to being red because it is a repeat pattern. Um, if you recognize that, maybe you take that trade, and you could trade that on the engulfing bar because it does. Um, no, it, that one makes the two bar match, and I'm sorry. Um, there's a second entry short here, but um, it's just congestion sideways you can't go short into the lows we get a break a couple legs down to a new low and then we're we just reverse but you don't really get any setups all the way up here um, just not much you can trade until finally you get a break first entry 
second entry everything above the midline you're looking for a retest of this high there's plenty of room I like going long there that's a quick easy move there's actually another hidden second entry here I didn't mark it but it's one you could argue to be if you see the hidden second entry maybe you argue for that to be green we've been bouncing at the midline the last three swings uh, so maybe it'll happen again and it does and you get a, you do get you do get your break and a couple of legs up now and then it turns down there's a second entry long here but signal bar is no good and uh, then you get another second entry here uh, that's close enough to call that a double top so first entry second entry there's also a failed second entry short it's not where you're looking for a failure so you really can't trade that as a failure some other trader asked me about that but you have a second entry right here and then you get a higher low on another second entry this is really kind of congested but there's room to get out here um, I like that it breaks lower and fails and turns back up on that big bearish bar on a second entry short so I like going long there just to try to get a scalp out of it uh, the other guy asked me about this and he wanted to trade it as I believe a failure and maybe even a triple test I can't remember exactly what he asked me but he had a doji there so it was not nearly as clean looking as mine uh, and I told him in his situation I would not have entered that so if you didn't have a good signal bar here don't enter that he was basically entering it as a failure but that's not really where you look for a failure so on a reversal failure would need to be way back down in here so and it's not quite back to the trend line so it's not really a continuation failure either so it's just not the right spot of course it takes off here and starts working sideways towards the trend line and uh, notice you get a one two three triple test here not the best signal bar it's right off the key entry point um, so it's not the best signal bar I made so I, for that reason I made it green if that was a nice bullish bar I'd probably made it blue and nothing else you can enter here and then we're pushing off higher again and quickly you get a two-legged correction second entry long here and you do have a breaking new low but I don't like that bar it's too you know there's no body there. It's too much of a doji it would have worked but then you get a higher low here but we're back below um, I mean you probably would have had this mid this midline here most of you would not have had that I don't even think I would have had that then so you can't really go off the midline it's just a first entry long here so because this does make a new high it's higher than that high so I don't think you want to trade that now you might say okay there's a higher or low here on the second entry because since that's a new high it's a first entry then a second entry but you have to wait for this to close and then you move so far I don't think it's worth the risk and of course it does make two legs up you get a second entry short right here uh, technically that's a first second third entry short but just you, know, you can look at that as two legs up but you wouldn't have a trend line here here yet you would draw it now and it's moved slightly um, so you have to kind of just sit there you do get a lower high here but too congested and then finally you get that continuation pattern it's 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 technically uh, not a failure by the way it all sets up but it's it's just basically like a lower high following uh, a second entry short and then a lower high and you can clearly see that we're just easing down the trend line I mean this one's I think eight ticks or something five ticks that's even better so real low risk and look at it go and here you get a trend working up you get a close outside move to a new high and then a big bearish bar you know it's just a first entry but actually it's a first second third entry but it it's played out and it's close enough to the upper trend line up here um, as you expect it does come back and try to test it again and um, I really like this one just because we tried to go higher three times there and it's a big bearish bar and it does drop on down comes back 
Um, I don't think we have a close outside yet till here and we don't quite make a new high, but um, we've clearly turned down across there multiple times. You can see that, boom, triple, quadruple, very bearish bar. I like going short there. Uh, it doesn't go very far, but it's enough to get your scalp, and then it reverses again, and then we just kind of chop. We just kind of chop into. Two thirty. So nothing else you can really trade there. This is probably more like right there. And that's how I saw it. So uh, again, it looked like we were going to start a second leg up. Of course, most of this was after two thirty, so it didn't matter anyway. Once you were kind of done here, you're done. But all, suddenly this thing just finds a selling point and the selling comes in and boom, the bottom just falls out of it. So somebody's selling it uh, on the corrections when they get to critical points again. Um, uh, this market may have more room to the downside. We'll just have to see. So uh, again, looking at the daily chart, it just looks like we're kind of chopping sideways we'll go back and look at that one more time before we wrap it up here it is and you can see we're just working sideways here now we could break on lower and trend on down here at some point we may but for now it just still looks like we're kind of chopping sideways kind of up down type stuff so uh, but anyway there it is that's how I saw it today uh, not much else we can say about today again you had to be patient and kind of wait uh, but Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.